This is Late Nali Talks TV. I'm Late Nali and I talk reality TV dating shows such as Ready to Love, Marry at First Sight, and Love is Blind, just to name a few. So if you do enjoy watching that type of content, then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on when I upload a new video. Now, let's get into the Never Ever Met, the brand new dating show on OWN. Let me start by saying... <laughs> This is not a Will Packer production. The budget is not there. I was highly disappointed when I saw that there was no budget for hair, makeup, or wardrobe, especially for the ladies. Episode one, I was like, what is this? And I know, I guess, that they are trying to, you know, get a different audience in. And everyone is saying, like, they're trying to appeal to an a younger audience, but this is not how you do it. You know, um, appealing to a younger audience is one thing, but you still have older castmates, older people, older cast um, on the show. So it just doesn't make any sense. But let's get into it. The Never Ever Met is essentially one of the worst <laughs> dating shows. It, it's so fake. And let me tell you why. So the premise of this show is people who have met online via a dating app or just social media and they have never met before. And the premise of the show is not only are they going to meet, they're also going to live in a house with other couples as well. Now, to me, I think the concept is great. It's like a... 90 Day Fiance meets Catfish, kind of, in a way. But here's where the show has lost me. Absolutely none, and I mean absolutely none of these couples are in a committed relationship. Meaning, they met online, and they have said, look, we are boyfriend and girlfriend. We are committed to each other. We are together. We are not single. These people are not in relationships. They met online or via dating apps, social media, whatever it may be, and they talk off and on, but they have also dated other people in between. Some of the men have gone on to um, <clears throat> become fathers with other women. One man proposed to another woman online. Like, I don't like <clears throat> this fake concept of, oh, we've been together for three years. No, you've probably known each other for three years. You were probably playing in this person's face off and on for three years, but you were not together, together in a committed relationship. And what I want OWN to do next season is find people who are actually in committed relationships online and have never met before. People who have said, look, we are together. I'm not seeing anybody else. It's just you. Now, I know a lot of people have come forward saying, yes, I was speaking to somebody for a long period of time and we never met. But to me, that is foolishness. You know why? Because Spirit Airlines, Frontier Airlines, you can get a nice flight <clears throat> for $100 or around that. You want to book a cheap hotel? The hotel's about the airport. Um, a day's in, a country in, in suites, a Ramada in, whatever it may be, you know, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to go and see someone. And also, you don't have to go and stay with that person. You can actually go and stay in a hotel. Um, you have a couple that were, that was together and living in the same city, living in LA. I don't want to hear anything about LA traffic. Okay. Traffic is in a lot of places. A lot of major cities have traffic. I lived in New York. I've lived in Atlanta, uh, DFW, DC. I have been around <laughs> the major traffic areas, honey. And that ain't stopped me from nothing. You know why? Because I have to go to work every day. Most people go to work nine to five and have to encounter traffic. I don't want to hear anything about Los Angeles traffic. Those people could have met up on one of the many beautiful California beaches. They could have, you know, done... There's so many events in California they could have gone to together and met each other there. These people were not serious about each other. Please read the book or watch the movie. He's just not that into you, honey. Okay? Okay? It's a, it's a good movie. All right? 
It's a really good movie. He's just not that into you. You have a couple that when the guy's in his 50s, the girl's in her 40s. Can you imagine getting a 50 something year old man who can't get on a flight? Who can't drive? What are we doing? We're wasting time and we're allowing people to waste our times. But this show is fake. You know why? Because the couple that got into the fight, the altercation, Alexis and Dominique, they did an interview on YouTube saying that it was fake. They said that they were not in any kind of relationship. They had actually met before. They just wanted to be on TV. All that stuff was fake. Here's the thing. Maybe you guys came up with this fake plan to get on the show, but he felt a way when he saw um, Alexis flirting with, well, she wasn't flirting when she was talking to um, uh, Greg, aka Lenny Kravitz, <clears throat> about <laughs> uh, his his shorts, his hoochie daddy shorts. Um, she may have gone a little bit too far or, you know, didn't let the joke end, but he felt away. He was jealous. You were jelly. So you were jelly over somebody that you claim you were not attracted to. And you were jelly over somebody that you weren't even in a relationship with. This show is faker than a $2 bill. Okay. Let me run through the couples for you guys. You have Shay and Josh. Shay and Josh have been together for 12 years. Shay lives in Florida. Josh lives in Tennessee. Again, (laughs) they could have driven and met in the middle somewhere like the middle would probably be like Atlanta or something for them. You know, flights, I'm sure (sighs) guys, I'm someone who loves to travel. And I think that a lot of people, they don't necessarily love to, to fly or anything like that. So for me, I can't fathom why you can't get on a plane because I'm someone who travels a lot. But I know everyone isn't like that. But if you really want to meet someone, you have other options. You can drive. I'm not going to say take the bus because I, I don't even know. Like, do Greyhound, is Greyhound still running? Like, I haven't heard of anybody taking a Greyhound in so long. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. Comment down below. When's, when's the last time y'all heard someone say they were on a Greyhound bus? It's been a minute, honey. Um... People get these uh, spirit, honey, spirit, Southwest, you know, there's so many options. They were dating for 12 years. Now, here's the reason why I think Shay and Josh, they're going to be the fan favorites because they both um, seem to genuinely like each other. But I will say Shay and Josh come across as fake to me because their chemistry was on 10. Go back and look at episode one when they first met and they first started kissing. Baby, that kiss was so smooth. You cannot tell me they haven't kissed before. They immediately went into the bathroom. They immediately hopped into the shower and did God knows what what else. Their level of, you know, comfort was on 10. And I really feel like these people have met before. And I don't know. I, I just, it comes across as they were way too comfortable. Now, I know you can say, well, they've been dating for 12 years. Yes, 12 years online over the phone does not trans does not always translate in person but the way they were so in tune with each other I cannot be the only one who feels like nah I think they've been together before Joanna and Aaron J they have been dating for nine months uh Joanna lives in Illinois and Aaron J lives in Georgia now that's a bit of a, a distance yes but again uh, flights are available. <laughs> um, even if you have to say, let's meet somewhere specifically. Let's both go to Vegas. Let's both go to Miami. You know, even if it's, we'll both get separate rooms just in case. You know, to me, if you are in an online long-term relationship, cut the crap right now. Okay? Spirit, I'm sure has a flight. Um, a round trip flight under $200. I'm sure. 
Now, unless you, I mean, the only way I will say that these people have a, you know, a reasonable amount of, um, where I can say, all right, I can understand is if you live in Hawaii. Okay. Cause that's, that's far that, that flight. Ain't nothing to play with. Alaska is far as well, but I feel like the Alaska flights are less expensive than the Hawaii flights for sure. 100% for sure. But people, these people on 90 Day Fiance, those people are broke as well. And they still find a way to get on those international flights. Okay. So if they can do it, um, these people can do it as well. It's just a matter of they don't really want to do it. They're not really committed to their person. To that person. Now, Jomena and Aaron J have been dating for nine months. Aaron J, he has like the slanted eyes and he's wearing, he has like two dangly earrings. And people feel like he may be more so fluid or bi because they don't feel like he, he comes across as more feminine. And um, Joanna is not into him. She don't want that man. And here's my thing. If you guys have been video chatting, like how, I know seeing someone in person is different. I do. But, I mean, she just is so like detached. She's not interested in him at all, at all, at all. It, it's it's weird. It, it's Because why didn't you see this via video chatting, you know? All right. Diamond and Aaron H. So, Diamond and Aaron H have been dating for five years. Diamond is from Florida. Aaron H is from California. Now that is a bit of a difference for sure. That's a, I'm sorry, that's a bit of a, a distance. Um, but again, those are two major vacations. Like who doesn't want to go to Florida? Who doesn't want to go to California? Those are two major uh, states where people go as far as, you know, to travel or vacay. You know, um, Diamond, I'm sorry, Aaron H is in his 50s, 51, I believe, and, and Diamond is in her 40s. Now, Aaron H, within the five-year period, proposed to a woman online. And here's the thing. Not only were you talking to other women, but you were talking to other women so comfortably that you chose to propose. Like, that wasn't, um, you know, that wasn't a, a quick little... Well, we got together and we just like you had strong enough feelings that you proposed to another woman. So for me to be playing backup, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> we already got into Dominique and Alexis. They are fake. We know that. Sienna and Brand, uh, Brandon. Sienna is from New York. Brandon is from Florida. Baby, them Florida, New York flights, very easy, very inexpensive. Stop playing. They've been dating for 10 months. Sienna is the prime example of what people say, the negativity that people say about women from New York. And I don't like it. Like women from New York get like a hard, um, they get a a bad rap for being like, uh, I would say man, like super masculine, I'll say. And she does not help the case. She ain't she ain't beating them allegations, as they would say. Sienna called Brandon a B to his face on just because he said that she was inconsistent. She also thinks that he should relocate to New York. How do you tell someone to go from sunny Florida to snow cold? One of the top three most expensive states in the, in the country, New York. You think I'm leaving my Florida good weather and no state taxes to go to expensive ass, cold ass, snowing ass New York? Is you crazy? Anyway, it's usually the other way around. And as a New Yorker, she should know that. Okay. Um, Sienna dogged Brennan, uh, Brandon, I'm sorry for having previously been married and having two kids with two, two different women. And my thing is, ma'am, you knew this 10 months ago. Why are you dating or seeing this man if you feel like he is not serious because he has two different baby mamas? She's entitled to feel that way, but she's not entitled to keep bringing it up and throwing it in his face, 
if you chose to be in a relationship with this man, why is it a problem now? Why? Um, Sandia and Chris, another couple that I think is completely fake. They've been dating for three months. They both live in the state of Florida. Are you serious? Are you serious? Unless you live in Key West, if you drive from Miami, like the port of Miami to the top of Florida in, in no traffic through that um, Florida Turnpike, you're talking about six hours, maybe a little bit over six hours. So I don't know. I think they both actually live in Miami. Oh, my God. There's no reason why they shouldn't have seen each other in three months. Now, well, three months is, is very is a short time. But again, we see that Mr. Chris claims he's single. He get a bunch of women. He he's a playboy. He's he's here for TV. And he found one of the r- random women that he talks to to come on the show with him. He's dragging Sandia along. She's a nice girl and she is being played. But I think, again, they have an agreement to both be on TV the same way Alexis and Dominique do. And you can't convince me otherwise. Chris is disrespectful and he just seems to, I don't trust women. I don't trust women. Sir, you have another option and that's men. Go be with them. Because what are you what are you gonna do? You're gonna be a playboy for the rest of your life? When are you gonna settle down? Tendia seems like a nice girl, but she does seem like she will easily let him take advantage of her. But yeah. All right, Millie and Greg are last couple. They both live in California. They've been dating for three years, never seen each other. Absolutely ridiculous and stupid. Okay. <laughs> um I don't like the concept of the show. Why would you have seven couples? That's a little bit that's a little bit too much. Now we're down to six couples. So, okay. But I mean, for me, I would have done at least five. But then like, also, why are all the women in one room, all the men in another room? Like that makes no sense. Where is the budget on? Where is the budget? I really think that they just was like, "All right, let's get in the dating show on the air. Let's see what happens." And hopefully if there's a season 2, they will increase the budget, but it was like they gave this show the lowest of the lowest in regards to a budget and said, let's see what happens, make something happen, and now we're here. The thing is, we have been watching reality TV for 10 plus years. We know, (laughs) we know a show that has a good budget and we know a show that doesn't. And... This show right here, they gave zero Fs about. They just put a show together and that was that. I mean, where was the verification? Where was, you know, how did you check? Like, did you look at, let's say, I don't know, maybe, um, cause how can you verify that these people are really dating each other? Like, even I feel like the show Catfish, they show you text messages and all of that. I'm like, something, I would need some kind of verification or proof to show how long these people have been dating. But again, none of these people are serious about each other. These people have had babies on each other, proposals on each other. Like, I just, like, it's not, it's not serious. Next season, can we have younger people who probably are, let's say, in their early 20s or so, so they probably don't have the finances to travel, um, who may have been dating for a few months? You know, if, if you want to appeal to a younger audience, fine. But you can't have people in your fifty in their 50s, 40s, and 30s, and then you're trying to appeal to the Zeus Network audience. Get people who are younger and it makes more sense that they may not have the finances to travel to meet their partner. But this just, this ain't it. And we have to verify, please, that these people are actually in committed relationships with each other. Because these people are not. They are not. They're not in committed relationships. They are in situationships. We all have that one person that we probably go back to when a relationship ends. And I think that is who they are for each other. 
they're that one person you've just been talking to, that one guy that comments on all your pictures and tells you that you're beautiful and DMs you and you DM him back. But it's it, that's what it's giving. That's what Joanna and Aaron J are giving. Um, that's what Sienna and Brandon are giving. <laughs> like they give, you know, we talk via social media, but I never really got to know this person. And now I'm living in the house with them. And I quickly realized that I don't like them. Like we are on episode two and you can tell that Sienna and Brandon, Brandon they are, a, they're a disaster. Joanna and Aaron J don't like each other. Well, Joanna don't like Aaron. Okay. Um, what are we doing on? This ain't it. This ain't it. But I will tune in and watch the foolishness. And I will give you guys additional updates. Comment down below your thoughts. Do you agree with me in terms of none of these people are serious about each other? All these people are just... Oh, uh, <laughs> they just had a little friend that they've been talking to every time they're single. And that's truly why they never, ever met. These people are not in committed relationships. They're not really committed to each other. And I guess the show is supposed to bring them closer together, um, literally and figuratively. But this is a mess. This is the mess. Where is the budget? Seven room, seven beds in one room. What is going on? Own? Come on now. Do better. This is Late Nolly Talks TV. I'm Late Nolly. I'm signing out. Don't forget to watch. I'm sorry. Don't forget to like the video. Comment down below your thoughts and I'll comment back. And please subscribe to the channel. This is a new channel. So I do appreciate the love and support. Thank you again for watching. Tune in for my next review of the Never Ever Mets.